and we're gonna be talking a little bit about cold in the OR. Some of the reasons that the OR is actually a very cold environment is because it actually helps maintain the humidity level low. The constant air conditioning provides a constant positive pressure in the OR that cycles air out of the OR continuously, which is good to prevent bacterial growth and anything in the OR that might harm you. What we do as anesthesia providers in order to minimize that cold is we have an arsenal of different methods in order to try to keep your body temperature as high as possible. A lot of times I can't really use an over body warmer, especially for cases that involve lipo. And the reason why is that your whole body is being liposuction and there's not much of it I can cover with an overbody bear hugger, for example. An overbody bear hugger, for those of you that don't know, it's a kind of a blanket that blows hot air in and it's able to, you know, keep certain parts of your body warm uh, during the case. What I employ is I have this pad, which is an underbody warmer. And what it does is it has a pump underneath the bed that shoots up hot water and goes throughout the mat and it warms up this mat and, and helps maintain your body temperature throughout the procedure. Another thing that I employ in order to try to keep your body warm is a fluid warmer so we can give fluids to the patients that are not actually at room temperature that are a little bit warmer in order to try to prevent that decrease in body temperature. Part of the decrease in that body temperature is always also attributed not only to the ambient air or the fact that the OR is cold, but the anesthesia itself. Uh, part of what the anesthesia does is that redistributes blood from your core into your extremities. So that's one of the reasons that you lose a lot of body heat during the procedure. And then after we get you out of the operating room and when you get into the recovery room, we'll have blankets over you during the whole time and also there we will utilize the bear hugger that I talked about earlier in this video. But yes, that phase in which you get out of the OR and you're shivering is actually very cumbersome to a lot of people and I understand that and we try to minimize that as much as possible by utilizing these different tactics in order to keep you more comfortable in your recovery. So that's it. As an anesthesia provider, I have to be very cognizant of my patient's temperature. Very low temperatures can cause complications such as arrhythmia and actually can cause bleeding problems. So I have to be on top of things and make sure that you're not too cold during the procedure in order to prevent those complications. So I hope you learned something from this video and I'll check you out next time.